looking at a above average standard bread. He was a pacer. And uh, standard breads work on very hard ground. The tracks are very hard. They're unbelievable animals. They're so strong and so tough. There's a variety of shoes and the shoe is gonna be dependent on the track surface that day that they're racing. It's also gonna be dependent on whether they're a pacer or a trotter. There's aluminum shoes. This one has an outer rim. It has a toe grab. It has a toe clip because the surfaces are hard. We want to prevent that shoe from sliding back. A toe clip could be an advantage, especially if there's a traction device. This is an outer rim. This is very hard steel. It allows traction all the way around. This will fill with sand and dirt, debris, and add to the traction this horse has on that hard surface. A very light shoe for a racehorse so we don't fatigue them with weight. So an advantage to this style of shoe is that we have a little extra in length here. Plus our heels are a little bit wider, giving that horse more support on those heels. The nail holes are punched so that they line up with the white line. We have a good broad toe. And even on the half round, half swedges. Half round, this would be on the medial side or the inside of the hoof wall. The swedge is lateral, outside. Good heel length on these shoes. Great support in the heels. Standard breads tend to be a little base narrow. We're keeping them a little bit further apart by having the swedge laterally. This would be a right hind shoe. When I'm evaluating a horse, I'm lifting the limbs in the natural range of motion. I'm evaluating down the limb, looking at the circumference, the balance of that hoof. I'll bring it up underneath his body, do the same thing. This horse has a very strong hoof, a good thick hoof wall. As I'm evaluating this hoof, I'll look for white spots or old scar tissues and, and uh, try to define whether that is actually scar tissue or the markings of the horse. This one has a pattern on the side of this tendon, suspensory ligament from uh, pin firing that went on or some blistering to try to help out an old injury there. The hindquarters of this horse are tremendous. The muscling up here for racing Standard breads tend to be just a little bit sickle hocked. Incredible. In standard bread racing, there's trotters and there's pacers. A trotter, of course, trots around the track. But a pacer, they're put in hobbles at an early age, are trained to move one side and then the other. So they have a very different gait than a trotter. It's unbelievable how fast these horses can go with that gait. And the shoeing demands are somewhat different between the two styles of racing.